Trying to define yourself is like trying to bite your own teeth. A man suffers only because he takes seriously what the gods made for fun. We seldom realize, for example, that our most private thoughts and emotions are not actually our own. For we think in terms of languages and images which we did not invent, but which were given to us by our society. The meaning of life is just to be alive. It is so plain, and so obvious and so simple. And yet, everybody rushes around in a great panic, as if it were necessary to achieve something beyond themselves. This is the real secret of life. To be completely engaged with what you are doing in the here and now. And instead of calling it work, realize it is play. Muddy water is best cleared by leaving it alone. To have faith is to trust yourself to the water. When you swim you don't grab hold of the water, because if you do you will sink and drown. Instead, you relax. And float. The centipede was happy, quite, until a toad in fun said. Pray, which leg goes after which? This worked his mind to such a pitch, he lay distracted in a ditch, considering how to run. The only way to make sense out of change, is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance. You are an aperture, through which the universe is looking at, and exploring itself. You are a function of what the whole universe is doing, in the same way, that a wave is a function, of what the whole ocean is doing. Through our eyes, the universe is perceiving itself. Through our ears, the universe is listening to its harmonies. We are the witnesses through which the universe becomes conscious of its glory, of its magnificence. I have realized that the past and future are real illusions, that they exist in the present, which is what there is, and all there is. The more a thing tends to be permanent, the more it tends to be lifeless. The art of living is neither callous drifting on the one hand, nor fearful clinging to the past on the other. It consists in being sensitive to each moment, in regarding it as utterly new and unique, in having the mind open and wholly receptive. Try to imagine what it will be like to go to sleep and never wake up. Now try to imagine what it was like to wake up having never gone to sleep. Things are as they are. Looking out into the universe at night, we make no comparisons between right and wrong stars, nor between well and badly arranged constellations. Problems that remain persistently insoluble, should always be suspected as questions asked in the wrong way. Tomorrow, and plans for tomorrow can have no significance at all. Unless you are in full contact with the reality of the present, since it is in the present, and only in the present that you live. There is no other reality than present reality, so that, even if one were to live for endless ages, to live for the future would be, to miss the point everlastingly. A scholar tries to learn something every day. 
a student of Buddhism tries to unlearn something daily. Every intelligent individual wants to know what makes him tick, and yet is at once fascinated and frustrated by the fact that oneself is the most difficult of all things to know. We do not come into this world. We come out of it as leaves from a tree. As the ocean waves, the universe peoples. Every individual is an expression of the whole realm of nature, a unique action of the total universe. Life is like music for its own sake. We are living in an eternal now, and when we listen to music we are not listening to the past. We are not listening to the future. We are listening to an expanded present. If happiness always depends on something expected in the future, we are chasing a will o the wisp that ever eludes our grasp until the future and ourselves vanish into the abyss of death. When we attempt to exercise power or control over someone else, we cannot avoid giving that person the very same power or control over us. If you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you'll spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. To remain stable is to refrain from trying to separate yourself from a pain because you know that you cannot. Running away from fear is fear, fighting pain is pain, trying to be brave is being scared. If the mind is in pain, the mind is pain. The thinker has no other form than his thought. There is no escape. One is a great deal less anxious if one feels perfectly free to be anxious, and the same may be said of guilt. And people get all fouled up because they want the world to have meaning as if it were words. As if you had a meaning, as if you were a mere word, as if you were something that could be looked up in a dictionary. You are meaning. So then, the relationship of self to other is the complete realization that loving yourself is impossible without loving everything defined as other than yourself. What we have to discover is that there is no safety, that seeking is painful, and that when we imagine that we have found it, we don't like it. If then, my awareness of the past and future makes me less aware of the present, I must begin to wonder whether I am actually living in the real world. Real travel requires a maximum of unscheduled wandering. For there is no other way of discovering surprises and marvels, which, as I see it, is the only good reason for not staying at home. You're under no obligation to be the same person you were five minutes ago. Paradoxical as it may seem, the purposeful life has no content, no point. It hurries on and on, and misses everything. Not hurrying, the purposeless life misses nothing, for it is only when there is no goal, and no rush, that the human senses are fully open to receive the world. Words can be communicative, only between those who share similar experiences. If you cannot trust yourself, you cannot even trust your mistrust of yourself. So that without this underlying trust in the whole system of nature, you are simply paralyzed. 
I am what happens between the maternity ward and the crematorium. We feel that our actions are voluntary when they follow a decision and involuntary when they happen without decision. But if a decision itself were voluntary, every decision would have to be preceded by a decision to decide. An infinite regression which fortunately does not occur. Oddly enough, if we had to decide to decide, we would not be free to decide. Just as true humor is laughter at oneself, true humanity is knowledge of oneself. No one is more dangerously insane than one who is sane all the time. He is like a steel bridge without flexibility, and the order of his life is rigid and brittle. Technology is destructive only in the hands of people who do not realize that they are one and the same process as the universe. But you cannot understand life and its mysteries as long as you try to grasp it. Indeed, you cannot grasp it, just as you cannot walk off with a river in a bucket. If you try to capture running water in a bucket, it is clear that you do not understand it, and that you will always be disappointed, for in the bucket the water does not run. To have running water you must let go of it, and let it run. It's better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing, than a long life spent in a miserable way. For if you know what you want, and will be content with it, you can be trusted. But if you do not know, your desires are limitless, and no one can tell how to deal with you. Nothing satisfies an individual incapable of enjoyment. Indeed, one of the highest pleasures is to be more or less unconscious of one's own existence, to be absorbed in interesting sights, sounds, places, and people. Conversely, one of the greatest pains is to be self-conscious, to feel unabsorbed and cut off from the community and the surrounding world. Peace can be made only by those who are peaceful, and love can be shown only by those who love. No work of love will flourish out of guilt, fear, or hollowness of heart. Just as no valid plans for the future can be made by those who have no capacity for living now. Never pretend to a love which you do not actually feel, for love is not ours to command. You are that vast thing that you see far, far off with great telescopes.